Oh, that's a nice red. Yup. What is going on everyone? So I'm actually doing this intro at the end of the day right now because really I set out with a goal today to try and do something completely different from what I ended up doing. As soon as I got out to the spot, I made a couple casts, I realized that there were schools of mullet everywhere. So I put the rod down, picked up the cast net and decided to make a day out of using some mullet. So check it out. Oh, there's a ton of mullet in front of me or something. I'm honestly gonna get the cast net. Okay, I've not thrown a cast net in a hot minute, so don't make fun of me if it's terrible. I got a lot. I got a lot of mullet. <laughs> I got a lot of mullet. Okay, that's a good amount of mullet. Yep. I got mullet. We're doing something with mullet today. All right, well, we got mullet. I can use them for a uh, cut bait for some redfish maybe. I don't know, we'll see. I got options now. All right, this area is looking really good. I see a lot of mullet activity. Tide tide and we got some little cut areas underneath the mangrove so we can pitch some uh, some cut bait under there. I've only really fished this spot once and it really looks good so hoping today's the day I really catch something here. I just said really like four times in that sentence. There we go, good chunk of mullet. Take my 2-0 circle look right here, a little split shot above it, just like that. Try it right there. have it pretty tight and just put in the rod holder right there it's gonna cast around the cow while that's sitting there I see mullet flashing so ah, I lost a chunk Right there. I got a red. I got a red. Nice little red. Probably 18, 19 inches. Oh, look at the spots on you, dude. You are pretty. Once I got that bait in the spot I wanted it to be, it did not take long at all. Come here, dude. Yeah, it's a solid little redfish right there on the cut bait. Might need to switch over and just throw two poles with a cut bait. It's a good measurement on him. He is a little over 20 inches. Beautiful redfish. All right, see you, dude. There he goes. All right, let's get another piece of cut bait back in there. I casted, I don't know if I was recording. I casted this bait in there, in this little slot right there. It's taking me a while to get in there. And once I finally did, this bait lasted maybe 15 seconds in there. It's gonna aim for that slot again. I know there's been some big redfish around this area, so. I'm really hoping to get into one of those bigger ones. You can tell when a redfish gets it because it just tightens up and goes. I think I'm going to go ahead and rig this rod up for cut bait too and just fish two, two things of cut bait. All right, got this one rigged. Cut bait two now. There we go. Okay, we're going to try it right there. Now we wait. While I'm waiting, I'm going to respond to some comments. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Oh, uh, there's definitely one on this one. Dang it. What do I have? Um. What do I have right now? I don't know what I have. I'm thinking maybe a stingray or something. It came off. What was that? Think you broke me, maybe? No, it just came off. I think that was just a big stingray. That was crazy. All right, I'm pulling up onto a new spot right here. Let's see what we can get. But yeah, I gotta give a shout out to my buddy Caleb. He's the one that told me about this fight. He said, hey, if you go here, throw some cut bait, you could get some big fish. So let's see if we can get some. Put up there. All right, let's get this one rigged again. I got something. If this is a red, this is a massive red. What? What is that? It's a shark. Yeah. What kind are you? A little bonnet head. I thought you were going to be a massive red. Basically just a little species of hammerhead. I think it's the smallest species of hammerhead. Just stop, just stop, just stop. There we go. See you, dude. Hope you have a good day. Really didn't fray up the line too bad either. Y'all love circle looks. All right, let's get another piece out there. Oh, I got one. I got something. Is that a trout? Did I get a trout on a piece of cut bait? Yes, I did. Huh, trout on cut mullet. It's a decent little trout. Yeah, decent little trout. Probably like 17 inches, but he ate like a big old slab of cut mullet, like a steak of mullet. Huh, there you go, <laughs> see you dude. Get another piece. I think I have a big red on. Ah, oh, crap, I'm trying to throw this on my head. Got a piece of cut bait out, just sitting on the bottom. There we go. Sorry I wasn't recording, I really wasn't getting anything. Come here, dude. Come right to the boat. Oh, that's a nice red. Yup. That's what I like to see. Oh, yep. Come on. Don't just hang under the boat. That's weird. There we go. I hope the camera's good. I really just threw it on top of my head. That's a nice one. That's upper slot for sure. Oh yeah. Come here, dude. Just on a piece of cut mullet out there. There we go, that is a solid redfish. Let's get the measurement on him. I'm going 26. So right there. Nope, he's 24. 24 inch red right there. Awesome, look at the tail. That's a beautiful tail. All right, let's get the release on this dude. Try and get the other, oh, oh okay. there he goes. I'm gonna try and get the other GoPro. Awesome.
So I think that's gonna do it for today. It ended up actually being a pretty good day. Getting two redfish on cut bait, got a trout on cut bait, and messed around with a couple sharks. So all in all, care, keep playing with the day. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.